Hello, it's Angela Nesbitt and welcome to my color story. Today we are going to look at a little studio organization. I get questions about how I organize my space a lot. So I'm going to just focus on a couple of things today. One is what we do with all the paint, tubes of paint that we um, purchase over time. I'm a I am a paint hoarder, so um, I have a lot of tubes of paint. So I wanted to give a few suggestions on how to organize all those. There's nothing worse than when you um, are looking for a tube of paint and you can't find it. So you either A, go buy another tube of paint or you just simply have extra. So you open up another tube of paint and before you know it, you have three ultramar ultramarine blues um, Cloud, you know, crowding up your your workspace. So I um, I'm going to start with looking at how I organize my paint. So I have this great workstation that I had built, but you don't have to have something this fancy. But I'm going to show you what I have, and then show you talk about a couple of other options that would accomplish the same thing. So I have these bins back here. So I organize this by color. So these are, I use most, I use a lot of blue. So I have two, two, um, two bins that are for blues. And then um, this is for like grays and neutrals. These are greens, yellows, earth tones, orange and red. So um, it makes it really easy for me to grab what I need and keep things kind of under control. Um, also, I've seen other artists do this, which I thought was really a great idea. You can buy like a 10, just depending on how many tubes of paint you use, um, like, you know, like about that big. And you just put each color in its own, in 10. So it'd be like its own bin, but it'd just be more, you can move it around or, you know, put it on different surfaces. But then they could, some of, um, one artist actually painted like the, 10 that was for blue, he painted it blue and red and yellow and so forth and so on. So that was really cute. So that is another way to keep your paints organized. And um, one other way, I've never done this, but it, it was really cool. I saw it, um, a post, um, someone posted a big bulletin board and they used these little, um, you know, from, from Office Depot or whatever clips and then hung their paint on the bulletin board with you know just a regular tack so all their paints were hanging um and, and then that was hanging on a wall that was i thought that was really interesting and then you can roll up the tubes and and use the clamps as well if you didn't want them to be so long but that's another great way to kind of keep your paints at your fingertips and so you can work but get to what you know get what use what you need. Um, so another thing, I'm going to move the camera real fast, but um, is this drawer from Ikea that I absolutely love. It's a little storage cabinet. So I'm gonna um, move the, and do a little filming on that and show you about that. Okay, so this is this cabinet from Ikea that was actually quite easy to put together. And I think it wasn't very expensive either. But these drawers are, here's smaller tubes of paint. These drawers are very um, narrow. So you can't get things too deep. And so you can't find things. And I just, um, I just love how that how this keeps everything just really, really nice and organized. There's all my oil sticks. They're really hard to figure out where to put. So I really like this having a drawer just for those. So I highly recommend um, this storage cabinet. And I also have this um, much taller one. There's stuff kind of in the middle in the way, but much taller one. And this is where I, this is messy but this is where I keep all my like stock up or all the paints that um, I bought through time that I uh, don't ever use. <laughs> so this one's a uh, much taller and much deeper. Um, I don't really use this one as a, on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's great for storing um, extra paint. 
So I hope that helps with your paint organization. We're getting a, a figure, we're getting a little of jump start on the new year and getting organized in our studios. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you. Happy organizing. I'd love to see uh, what you're doing and how you're organizing your studio and keeping your paint straight. So please um, post in the comments below. Have a great day and I'll see you next week.